crankcase inspection of large two-stroke slow-speed engine. Procedures to be followed before crankcase inspection. Take immobilization permission from port authority. After getting permission, checklist has to be filled. Safety measures have to be discussed with the people taking part in the inspection. Stop low oil pump, crosshead, oil pump and place circuit breaker in off position. Open indicator cock and engage turning gear. Ensure engine has been tuned for at least half an hour before stopping blue oil pump and crosshead duplication pump. Proper signs and placards to be displayed regarding men at work. Inform duty officer for propeller clearance. Open crank store and ventilate properly. Wear safety gears, for example, helmet, boots raincoat, gloves, etc. Use safety lamps, torch and tools. All pockets should be emptied of contents and all tools taken inside must to be accounted for. One responsible person must stand outside. Procedures to be carried out during crankcase inspection. First check oil condition for any smell, discoloration or degradation. Turn the engine to BDC and start checking from under stuffing box area for any sign of black oil and indication of a stuffing box leaking. Check the piston rod surface for scoring marks and roughness. Check piston palm bolts and locking device for slackness and fretting. Check the guide and guide shoe where in general condition and the area around frame where guide is attached for any visual cracks. Check that the guide shoe and in cover bolts are in place and not slack. Check cross head bearing general condition. Evaluate top and bottom end of connecting rod, bolt, nut and locking device for slackness, sign of fretting etc. Check for sliding of bottom end bearing, axial movement or floating of connecting rod. Check for slip of wave and journal by checking the reference mark. Check wave in the area of stress concentration and check tie bolt bottom side. Check cross girder area around main bearing and bearing keep for sign of cracks and check around main bearing. All bearing must be checked for silvery color indicates bearing wiping. Check the surrounding of the oil pan area of all units for any sludge deposit, bearing metal pieces etc. Check crankcase relief door, wire mesh should be wet, spring tension, ceiling ring condition, etc. Check the teeth of transmission gear for sign of wear. Check chain drive for tightness. Use oil mist detector on sampling pipe to check for clear passage. Clear all the foreign materials from the crankcase and make sure all tools are accounted for. Start low oil pump and cross head lubricating pump and check for the oil flow and distribution. Check crankcase door ceiling condition and close the crankcase door. Inform chief engineer for the satisfactory checking of crankcase and duty officer. If you have any queries regarding this, 